Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Wally. And what we're going to do today is, after talking to the, to the owner of the building, he wants us to come up and assess, can the roof be fixed or do we have to replace it? Yeah. So while we're up here, first thing I like to do is I like to look at safety. Where are the fall hazards? Where's the trip hazards? Where's the edge of the roof? So on and so forth. So I know where I'm walking, I can be safe. Now, Wally, you have a tendency to fall over these gas lines. Yeah. They're not painted yellow, so look for the, the rusty looking things. That'd I think be, that be would a, be all of them. That would be all yeah. of them, yes. What do you think? Just just by looking here, do you think that this thing can be repaired? Or well, do you just think... standing where we're standing at now, <laughs> we probably need to take a walk here and take a look at what's going on here. So. Okay, I agree. All right, so let's take a look at some of the things we got going on here. Um, well, kind of right where we're standing, not to mention that over there. Um, so we've got a PVC membrane. It looks like they came in here and did repairs with what, EPDM cover tape? Yeah, and this is 20 year old PVC too. Yeah, and really, the, the membrane sheet. doesn't look that bad. Yeah, the sheet looks like For it's in good condition. Old? Yeah. I hate to say that it was the application, but as in walking across this roof, we see a lot of scenes stripped in. Right. So they obviously had problems with leaks when it was you know fairly new because but, they are done in PVC. You know, had they done the repairs with the proper material, Oh yeah. yeah, no. I mean, they'd probably get maybe another five years out of it. Yeah, yeah. And this year I don't know. What she, this is just a whole. This is just a continuation of that, but yeah. in a bigger scale. Right. Well, what's really scary about this is it looks to me like they tried to glue this to the PVC. Yeah. Because I'm che I have checked those seams and there's no mechanical attachment. Right. So this obviously is a non-gravity free zone or it'd be floating, right? <laughs> yeah. So you can see. Look here, Dave. That yep. tape and primer they use, I don't think that's adhering very well at all. Not at all, yeah. not at all. So, I mean, right in here you can see the water. I mean, I'm curious why this big area needs to be repaired. Did the building ever say something about guys were up here with shovels or something, or snowstorm or he something? He did. <laughs> you have shovels on a thermoplastic roof. It's not a good mix. No, they no. need to be plastic if you're gonna have a shovel, if you have to shovel this off. Yeah. Did, are you listening to this? Does this not sound like EPS or XPS? Yeah, if, if that's EPS or XPS and this is a PVC membrane, that's not a good combination. No, that's, that is going to hasten <laughs> the uh, migration of the plasticizers out of it. So basically, if the plasticizers leach out of the nuts, it's going to turn right back into a solid piece of PVC. <laughs> yes, And basically. that's not real good for weather. No, it's no. not. No, because it will crack eventually. I have actually seen TPO cover tape up here. Right here. Yeah. I believe this is TPO, some type of TPO peel and stick membrane or a cover tape. Right. What I really like is down here, I was noticing this earlier. So we notice how they have the cribbing supporting the blocks, which is a really good idea. Keep the pipes up off the membrane. How do you like the plastic bucket over there? Well, that's... You don't see that very often. That's unique. I have honestly never seen that. Oh, yeah. They, that's your support for your... Uh... Oh, yeah. That's been there a while. And that's PVC. <laughs> and it's plastic. Yeah. And it's... Wore out. Well, they said they at least they went forethought put a new drain in. They did, but they did it in EPDM. <laughs> yeah. So the problem with this is the drain is probably improperly. It's the water's going to come underneath. It's everything that's above the drain. Exactly. Exactly. This is from the initial installation, but I mean, I'll let, you know, maybe let the audience know when you put these support pipes, you have to separate, you know, have sacrificial membrane. This should really be brought up to the side and tacked to whatever your cribbing is because. And if you can look across these roofs, some of these have slid. Well, when this pipe slide or this cribbing slides, that piece of sacrificial membrane does no bit of good. It just it disappears in the wind or in rain or snow or whatever. Tack this to the side. That way, that stays right next to this block. Because so. as you can hear, this unit's on. When these units kick on, it's going to vibrate that. Yeah, you can see it vibrating right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it vibrates right off the, uh, the sacrificial sheet. So. Good catch on that one. Yeah, you got repairs on units over there, and then over here, they if you look, they re, they took those units off. What they do? Leave them on the roof. Yeah, when you're when you're doing a roof replacement, try to get everything off the roof that's dead. Yeah, absolutely. Those yeah. are uh, like uh, weapons of mass destruction out of a good windstorm. As it, yeah. yeah, they could not roll right over there and off on somebody's car, on somebody. That's that's not safe at all. Well, this is where we need to talk to that building owner, saying, hey, you need. Going forward, you need to know who's on your roof. Who's oh. doing these repairs? Yeah. I don't know. What, what I'm seeing here for repairs, you know, again, it's up to the building owner. And you're looking at a lot of time and money just to come back and take these repairs and repair a roof that's 20 years old. 
I think we give the building option owner the option to repair but replace. You're just throwing good money after bad yeah. if you try to repair this. It's just, it's not going to last. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many more years he's going to try to get out of this, but I think he's down to months. All right, well, let's go uh, give the building owner the good or the bad news. There you go.